Welcome back everyone to another Contra Force video where I'm gonna show you the newest stage that I've created that I like to call the Alien Tech Base. Now, some people have been questioning about the story of the actual game in terms of how it works between the characters and such. And I did mention it before and it is mentioned in the cutscene at the beginning that it's a combination of a random terrorist group who's basically allied with Red Falcon, which are the alien invaders. Where in the original one, if you check the instruction manual, it actually shows the original soldiers as all being aliens themselves. They're just called like skinned aliens or something like that. They're basically aliens inside human skin to, I don't know, disguise themselves or something like that. The concept, it's been done before. I mean, I can think about like Men in Black. Remember when the bug was inside the guy's skin and he was disguising himself? It's basically that same premise where mine's a little bit different. It's just an allied force between the two in order to do Red Falcon's like alien domination of the planet Earth. So the stage is mostly a vertical stage, but there is a horizontal part at the beginning first, and then it's mostly vertical after that. Now, because it's called the Alien Tech Base, you got a mixture between, like I said before, human soldiers and alien type, alien weaponry, if you want to call it that. And this stage really shows it off really, really well. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So you've got these alien gun turrets and ceiling turrets that shoot these wave-like bullets in a random pattern. And I also really like there is a lift part so it's kind of like an elevator lift part that slowly goes up which is in the original game as well but i think that uh, i recreated it even better in my version and also that you there are specific turrets that are uh, like along these pipes that go left and right while you're going up the actual elevator or automatic lift whatever you want to call it it's a very very cool stage uh, I like it quite a bit and then of course at the top you are going to fight this weird alien laser type boss machine of some kind right so it's I, I'm gonna be adding a little bit more to it than the original one the original one I think all it did was just shoot some lasers straight down and it looked kind of plain so I got to use my imagination a little bit more to add more types of attacks to this boss to make them just a little bit more interesting now some questions and suggestions in my last video I'd like to read out uh, the, to address some concerns or maybe answer some things that people have been asking before and one of them is a suggestion of to make the foreground especially on the tropics of terror uh, stage which is kind of like a second jungle stage he wanted to make the foreground more transparent and I'm like no I'm not gonna do that because of the original arcade wasn't like that and I don't know I don't think that it looks very good when I put it a little bit transparent I didn't like the look of it so unfortunately I can't do that I like the way it looks uh, the way it is now another question from another viewer is asking whether or not the well he called it the alien spaceship <laughs> Uh, uh, stages were going to be in the game, the very end stages. I don't think that they actually went to an alien spaceship in the original Contras, but uh, maybe in some of them they did, but not in the, in, in the original one, I don't think. It was more of like the aliens headquarters. Of course, uh, they took the idea from, from the actual movie Aliens, right? So that's what it's like. It's sort of like a living alien type lair right their headquarters and yes of course that's going to be in the game because how it goes is I'm combining all of the Contras together into one so you can't go to the very end stage you can pick what what series of stages that you want to go to on the stage select screen but you can't go directly right to the end basically I'm gonna have these little cutscenes at the end of every single one of those groups of stages that you've completed and it's going to say that you have gotten specific information that will lead you closer to where the Red Falcon's alien secret headquarters base is going to be. So that's why you have to pass all of the original Contra stages first before you make it to the end ones. Now, when you make it to the end ones, that's when I'm combining, I think it would be Contra 1 and 2 together from the NES version. So I'm combining those alien layers together into uh, maybe two 
two or three separate end stages that will just tie the whole game together. And someone also mentioned that the floor guns were not in the, I said the floor guns that I have are not originally in the NES version. And he's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, of course they are, you moron. Nah, nah, nah. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Those floor guns that I put in the game are straight from the arcade. They're not the exact same ones that are in the NES version. I know the NES version does have floor guns, but they're not the exact same graphics. They're not the exact same style as what I took. I took those directly from the arcade and put them in. So I kind of understand what he's saying, but I'm just kind of want to clarify that. <laughs> Now this is my favorite comment of them all. This one guy said, how come all the characters are white? And I guess he wanted some more of me to make the characters more diverse, right? Because this is, you know, the social climate that we're in. I found that hilarious. Because I'm like, what difference does it make? It <laughs> doesn't make any difference at all. And they're, they're only, they look white, like they're literally the color white because they're the exact same sprites that are from the original NES version. So I don't really know what their ethnicity really is. I mean, you could just, you could make up whatever it is. I mean, they're, they're eight bit. It, I don't know. I, <laughs> I found that funny. <laughs> so that's it for the updates and of the stage. And of course, if you want to see the full playthrough of what I've created so far, then of course the links are down below. Go to my Instagram or go to my Facebook groups page where I will always post the full stage of every single stage that I always create in the game just to, I don't know, give you a little bit more content. Also, as you can obviously see, uh, I am working with uh, artificial intelligence right now for uh, video editing. I think it's pretty cool to something to learn about. I mean, it is new technology and I like it. For instance, this background behind me was completely generated by AI. It was designed by me and then the AI just makes it so you could Google this image and not find it. It'll be one of a kind. I'm also using this green screen effect without a green screen. This has all been generated again by AI. So. I'm messing with it and there's some really cool neat effects that uh, you can do with it and uh, it's an interesting new technology. I like it. So I'm dabbling in it and it's fun. So if you guys did like the video, of course, you know where to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see another stage that I created, uh, here it is of the last video. You can click over there and uh, I'll see you guys next video.